Um, as you know, Mother's Day is coming up very, very soon. So I went to the stationery store um, wanting to get, like, you know, Mother's Day's gift card, you know. Aren't these so cute? These are so cute, right? Oh my gosh. I've never seen these cute, like, um, Mother's Day card in, in, you know, back home. So it's really nice to see that it's like really adorable and stuff. And I got this like Snoopy like thingy, like Snoopy decorated stuff. Yeah, so I love all these stationery stuff. So yeah, and um, hi guys. So right now I am inside a market and I'm gonna get lunch here. So I'll let you guys see the place. Look at all these places! So many things to choose from! So I'm gonna get this. There's like a lot of different types of dumplings. So I'm gonna get the, the market, guys. So, there's a market. So there's like different types of the dumpling one. There's like a Kanto like version, like Kanto dim something. And there's like dried ingredients and stuff that people can get here and you could get like fresh fruit and stuff and upstairs there's like they sell like pork and like you know like meat and stuff upstairs so basically it so that's what I'm doing so I am on my way to the post office <laughs> so the post office is inside the train station which is pretty cool um, I hope I can film in there if I can't I'll just take pictures but anyways so I got my food oh yeah I got my food so I'm gonna mail this card back home, and yeah! Uh, and then I'm gonna go eat lunch. So right now it's like 1-ish. It's pretty late. I went, After I had breakfast, I just went to sleep because I'm just really tired. So, yeah! So the post office. Yeah, so it says like, if you want the postal service, you have to take a number. So I'm gonna go take a number now. The number is like 686 right now. <laughs> okay, let me do this. Yay, so I got 687. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Right now, the number is at 686. So he gave me a stamp and it cost thirteen dollars. Okay, I'm gonna go get the glue right now. Okay, so here's the stamp. <laughs> right now, <laughs> right now we're at Taipei 101. Um, so Taipei 101, you guys know that it's the tallest building. It's not in the world anymore, right? There's another one. Yeah, but it used to be the tallest building in the world. So, um, you guys know that there's like a lot of like companies, their offices are in this building, um, but um, there's also like, it's like sort of like a mall too, if you guys been inside. Um, there's a lot of like, um, branded names, what do you say Ming Pai? Oh, famous brand, <laughs> famous like brand, branded names stuff here. So right now we're at the food court, I'm with my friends. <laughs> so we all got our dinner, so I got this. This is like um, steamed, steamed like um, roast, no, steamed pork chop, no, steamed ribs, yeah, steamed ribs, so yeah, with rice on the bottom and seaweed soup and veggies. And what did you get? Fried tofu yeah. and fish ball soup. Uh -huh. And like veggies, and then this is just like rice with some meat on it. Mm. Yay! So yeah, we're I don't oh we're gonna go to Four Up Twenty One, but it's not in uh, this building. It's in an area that's near here. Yeah, so it's, it's near here though. So so yeah, it's not that place is not that as expensive as here. It's affordable. So we're gonna go to Four Up Twenty One, and then. I'm gonna go eat now. So yeah. Whee! Whee! <laughs> I just heard Eric's song outside of a freaking cosmetic store in front of 
have um, Etude, Etude House. That is crazy! Well, it's actually my first time ever hearing his song being played in Taiwan. So that was a hi guys! Good morning. So it is ages day today. Look at the sky. So well, I mean, look over there. It's like I know it's spring, guys, but it's not spring here. It's really humid. I mean, it's cool. It's like you feel like like the coolness and stuff, the breeze. I mean. But that's only at nighttime. When it's like day, it's so freaking hot. And I don't even know why I'm wearing long sleeves today. I thought that it'll be like cooler, but it's not. So right now, I am walking back. I mean, I am walking to class. What am I saying? I'm walking to class and yes, I walk, I don't bike. See my friend outside, he doesn't see you, he's just like, he ignored me! Oh my god, how can you do this to me? <laughs> and now I see my other friend. Someone's using yeah. our classroom for a photo shoot. Yeah. What the hell happened? I don't know. So yeah, we're waiting outside our classroom because someone's doing a photo shoot in our room. And vlogging. You are Skyping? No, vlogging. Oh. Uh, See, hiya. So yeah, my friend thinks I'm weird for vlogging. Hi guys. Hi. So I got my food now, and um, so this is what I got. So I was actually googling, googling, and um, I found this vlogger, blogger who um, posted about restaurants that. She went to, he or she, I don't know, went to. Look at the food I got. Okay. So this is this dinky tofu. Look at it. Mmm. Doesn't it look so good? Okay, and this is the tomato salsa, and I don't know what this is. Um, and this is the noodles, just like plain noodles, and you just put the salsa in there and stuff. And then I got a drink, it's an apple tea drink. It's made with, they just squeeze the apple juice and then just put tea in it. It's so good. And then I got, I was really craving for cookies, so I went to, um, I went to a place, I went to a place called, uh, We Love Cookies. And I got cookies there, so yeah. It tastes so good. Oh my god. Okay, so I got cookies and basically, and I got breakfast for tomorrow because I'm too lazy to wake up really early in the morning just to go out and get breakfast. So that I just want to eat and wake up and get my breakfast. So yeah. This is so good, guys. So that other sauce, the not salsa, tomato salsa sauce. Um. Oh my gosh. It tastes so fucking good. Okay, so this is salsa. I don't know. Let me see. It's really good because it's a bit, a little garlicky, but it's really fresh. And the tomato, oh my god, it's so good. Oh, thank god I found, like, I looked at it on Google just to find this. It tastes so, so good. Um, but it's amazing. And oh, there's a lot. Oh my gosh, the combination is ridiculously yummy. And they're stinky tofu, even though it's stinky tofu, but it's actually not stinky at all. Um, and that's a little disappointing, but it tastes really good though. But other than that, it's just like fried tofu with. Um, pickled cabbage. Um, so yeah. So the stinky tofu was a little disappointing, but it's really good. So both of these together, like this, and the cold noodles, and the stinky tofu, it only cost like a hundred dollars in total. Um, a hundred Thai B, which is pretty cheap. And you get 
a hundred for two of these things. What? It is your meal. What? Okay. So basically, that was that's my dinner. So I'm gonna watch a drama and open the AC because I'm so freaking hot right now. But um, I'm watching this Taiwan drama called um, Wuhe What the Shi Qi Say. So it's like me and my 17 year old self and. I love the drama a lot because it talks about like high school and like reminiscing about the past and that's who I am. I reminisce a lot about the past and like everything and people and think about a lot of things. So it's a really good drama um, so far. But I wish the storyline moved faster because I want to know like what's going on and stuff. It's only episode 4 right now so I'm excited to see what's going to happen you know in the story and everything. And as for Korean dramas. Um, because I don't have access to Drama Fever here, um, I watch it on through Line, uh, Line TV, which is only available in Asia, I believe. And um, I started to watch Cheese in the Trap. Yes, I know I'm very late, but whatever. Um, but I also want to watch um, Descendants, Descendants of the Sun, um, that people are really obsessed with these days. I really don't understand why, but I want to watch it. And also I've been watching We Got Married because of Eric Nam Nam and Sola. Solar! She's so adorable. And they're so cute together! Oh my gosh! Okay, so yeah. I'm done fangirling. But I'm gonna go and watch dramas and eat my dinner. And yeah, so this is my day. The song that I want to recommend you guys to listen, it's from... Ling I think I'm pronouncing her right, her name right. Um, if you guys watch um, Xinguang Da Dao, she actually competed in that competition. Yeah, and the one that I think you guys should listen to is called Yi Ho Yi Ho. In English, it's called A Better Tomorrow. It's um, the song for the drama that I'm watching. The me and my 17 year old, 17 year old self. Um, I like it because it really describes the feels of like, you know, like when you're younger, you wish that, you know, you could grow older and like, you know, be an adult and everything. But as you get older, you're like, I want to be a kid again. And, you know, that whole like phase. And yeah, so I recommend anyone who, you know, loves that um, reminiscing and missing that feeling. So, yeah. So basically, that is it for today. There's um, Pikachu in Ricola from Blah 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 Bear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. So yeah, so I'll show you guys how stuff looks like. I don't know. I love the stuff I've been talking about. Maybe I'll just make coffee in my own room. Let's get like bread. The bread section. Look at all these bread and all the drinks. So they have like soda, coke and stuff over there, water, tea, 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 frozen food, beer. Yes, the beer selection and dessert, and then more breakfast. Maybe I should get, maybe I should get this. I don't know. Maybe should I get this? There's like steam spread, and there's like yogurt and stuff here. Maybe you just get cereal. We get cereal. But yeah, there's like salads here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all these things. 
sandwiches and rice rolls, bananas, soups. Microwavable food, microwavable food, and then Delton, more microwavable food, and fruit, fruit. Oh, what did I get? What did I get? Should I get this? Well, we should get this, guys. So this is what I ended up getting. This is what I ended up getting. This is what I got. I ended up getting. So I got fruit and I got some cereal with milky milk. I really don't know what it is on the bottom. It says milk. I, I, I'll trust them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what it is, but it's like cereal and then milk and papaya. So yeah. And then I have to Skype with my friend in a bit and like oh my screen is so freaking dark why did i do that to myself anyways yeah so basically yay so guys hi uh <laughs> so today is saturday it feels like a sunday to me for some reason um so today I am planning to go to the Modern Arts Museum. I've never been there, but I've been I they have a Facebook page, so I've been looking through the pictures of like the stuff that ha they have on display there and it looks so amazing. And I can't take any pictures or anything in there. So if you guys want to know what's in that museum, um I could put a link to their uh page. In the description box below so check that out um, if you guys have the time or yeah so basically I'm gonna go there and see how it looks like because I'm excited I love going to museums um, some people may say it's because <laughs> is it because you're a history major you were a history major as an undergrad uh... Some part, yeah, but some part, no. Um, yes, because, you know, like, I love to think about the past, and not only about the past, but a lot of things you can learn, learn in history, and, like, a lot of beautiful, well, not beautiful, it's, like, really sad stuff. Um, but I learned a lot being a history major, um, especially about um, Asian American, because in my school, at my college, at my college, um, in my college, I didn't, um, oh crap, I don't even know how to say English anymore. Blah, blah, blah. At Holy Cross, um, there's like no specific, like, you know, what you want to study. It's just like history, and that's it. Not like specific, like, where do you want to, like, focus on. So, in our school, we have a thing called concentration. Um, so you can, I feel like it's sort of like a minor. Um, I don't really know how to explain it to people. I hope I'm correct. Even though I graduated, I still really don't know how to describe it to people. But um, I was a history major with a... Sorry guys, I have to like go on the internet right now. Oh crap, I didn't even plug it in my ethernet cord yet. Um, so I was a um, history major. Oh crap. I was a history major. Sorry guys. I was a history major with Asian studies concentration. So yeah, and because I was a history major and I took all these like required, like, you know every major has a different requirement and also because my school is a liberal arts school, not only did we have to fulfill, I, I, I think all colleges have to do that anyways, um, not only do you have, did we have to fulfill, um, our major requirements, we also had to fulfill our, like, general, general requirements, like every student had to take it, no matter what major you are, so, um, yeah, but anyways, being a history major, I could, I took different classes like requiring so and within those classes like when I took those classes I decided that I wanted to, like every semester when we had a paper due um, like a mini research paper due I would always talk about 
um, Asian American history, like during that period, like whatever my history class was about, I would always talk about things like that. And it was really fun um, because we don't have an Asian history, Asian American history, um, Asian American major, Asian American history major, and Asian American studies major, excuse me. Um, so for me, it was sort of like, being a history major, I could research a lot about like Asian American history and like do and not only like learn like because I didn't get to learn about it in college. So through these um, history papers that I did, I learned so much on my own and it was really fun um, doing that research. But it was good to like learn about like how Asian Americans, Asians when they first immigrate to America, how like what they went through and everything like that and. For me, I was like, wow, there's so much. Because, you know, I didn't really get to learn about it much when I was in high school and, um, like, in the classroom, though. Outside of the classroom, I learned a lot. But in in, in my class, high school, we didn't really learn much about it. Um, so in college, I did a lot of papers around that. So, yeah. And, wait, why am I talking about this? So yeah, so basically that's what I did when I was in college. Yeah, I was a history major. I know a lot of, like when I declared my major as history, some of my relatives were like, Why? Why did you declare your... Why is your... Why did you... Oh crap. Why did you like declare your major as history? And I'm just like, because I love it and... I learned so much from it, and they're like, like when when I first told them that my sophomore year, they're like, oh, you're gonna your major, you're gonna change your major. No, I stuck with it for four freaking years, and I committed myself to it. Like I made that decision when I was a freshman, my second semester freshman year. So, yeah, and um, my relatives were like, why? But then I was just like me alone and my parents were like sort of like okay but not really with it but then i don't think they really knew what i was doing with the major so they're all like what's the point of it like what are you gonna what can you do with the history major and i'm just like um i could i don't know you could do anything with it you can work in a museum you could become i i feel like what you major in as an undergrad in as okay guys as an undergrad, whatever you guys major in, it's not necessarily what you want to do in life. Okay guys? And I know that some people freak out, like I remember when I was choosing my major, I was like, oh, history, because I actually wanted to become an English major. Oh, <laughs> that's so weird. Um, I was thinking about English, political science, um, international relations, um, history was one of them, Chinese was one of them, and I was just like, hmm, I don't know, yeah, so like, oh crap, I have to go to Google here, sorry guys, I'm like really like not concentrating with all of this, goodbye my love, what I did, Oh my gosh, Christine replied. Christine replied! Christine from Walk for Production replied to my comment on Facebook. I mean, no, uh, YouTube! I, have a, I don't know if I want to read it. I was like really emotional after I read that. I mean, I wrote that. So thanks, Christine, for replying. Um, I'll look at that later because right now I need to um, go and do Google Hangouts. Thanks, Christine, for replying. I haven't. I don't want to do a reaction video because I feel like I'm gonna cry reading it. Um, because I have to, you know, Skype with. Um, <clears throat> oh crap! How do you do this? I don't even have like, uh, my friend's Google Hangout thing. Oh god. Okay. Sorry, I have to stop recording because I have to contact her online. 